Hey guys, Captain CA here for Flats Class YouTube. And I'm gonna do a really popular video today because we do this seasonally. We do it every winter, we do it every spring, we do it every summer, and now that we're moving into fall, we're doing it in fall. And that's me giving you my top five baits uh, moving from September through October and getting into early November. Because once we get into later November, we're gonna start talking about some smaller winter baits uh, or some slow moving suspending baits. but for right now, I want to cover top five for this time of year, and these videos are immensely popular. And if you're learning stuff here at Flats Class YouTube, hit that subscribe button right now, please. Um, I promise you, you are going to learn something from our channel every time you watch it. All right, let me start breaking these down category by category, top five for fall after this. Flats Class YouTube is brought to you by Aquatraction, your go-to solution for advanced marine flooring. I have to say spoons, spoons really are probably my favorite bait moving through September and getting into October. Reason four is you can cover so much ground and we're starting to get a few fronts, lots of rainy days. You got to remember, here in Florida, where I live, this is the peak of hurricane season, September. So you have lots of squally weather. You have lots of stormwater runoff. So there's tons of, you know, floating debris on the surface and the water's kind of stained and off color. It's either tannin stained or it gets a little turbid, which is muddy. Uh, and spoons like the Black Aqua Dream Spoon, fantastic choice. Uh, they also have some brighter colors in the pink and in the lime green, we call it Mountain Dew or Bubblegum. Those two colors, pink and pink and green, work really good. But that black is very, very good. If you do live in one of those fisheries uh, along some of the places here on the West Coast or down in the Keys, and you're looking for a solid choice for a spoon that you're going to get a lot of durability, a lot of casting ability, uh, you can cheat that wind quite a bit. And this Captain Mike or this Aqua Dream white spoon with the red eye, awesome. I mean, these two are probably responsible for more catches for me this time of year than any other bait. And I'm getting ready to go down uh, to the Florida Keys and do a lot of fishing, probably right there in Flamingo, snake bite, places like that. This black spoon last year was money. I mean money. And I'm bringing it again. <laughs> All right. What's next? Find out now. Top water, of course, top water is excellent. When we move into that transition period where we come out of summer where the fish are a little bit deeper, uh, the water temps are warmer, they're a little more lethargic and you don't get the opportunity to use top water nearly as much to entice them. But as we move into September and October and early November, the fish are fired up. They're wanting to strike a bait. Uh, they're moving to the river mouths. They're moving to the creek mouths. And top water is excellent, excellent choice. Now, this is a popping plug. And if you've watched some of my videos in the past, you can either walk the dog with this plug or you can spit, spit, spit and let it stall. Spit, spit, spit and let it stall. Drives trout crazy. Probably one of my number one lures, top water wise, surface walker wise, uh, is the pop mullet. If you're a traditionalist and want a walking bait, use these bigger baits like the Top Dog Junior. This is in the chrome color, uh, one of my favorite low light baits, or for throwing between docks this time of year in that little bit deeper water from four to six feet deep, you can call them up. I'm... It has one hell of a knocker in it. So looking for a bait that can cover water this time of year, just like the spoon, Tough to beat these top water baits, especially these two profiles right here. Now, next, we're going to talk about this 
the Big 27 MR. Now this is a really good bait in the spring as well, especially when you're targeting those large trout in the shallows. But when we move into the fall period, where the photo light is getting shorter and shorter, that's the daylight hours, they get shorter and shorter and shorter. And fish like snook really are wanting to put on some weight before the cold fronts get here and they start moving to the very back and have limited choices. Well, baits like this, the 27MR, this is a neutrally buoyant bait. Uh, I've got it rigged here with single hooks, and this is a great backcountry color. A little chartreuse belly, gold sides, black back. It's a fantastic lure to be throwing. September, October, early November, one of my favorites. Uh, really good for casting distance. I'm still working this at a Twitch, 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 pause, twitch, 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 pause. I'm working at a relatively quick rate still because the water temps, even though they're moderating, they're not cold. Now, if you get stuck where you're fishing some deeper current, fishing a creek or a river or an intercoastal waterway where you've got a good pull of tide, sometimes these are difficult to use because they don't sink fast enough. I've got an answer for you. The new heavy, this is the heavy Miradine XL. We've never had it before. So this is the 28 MR. We've been waiting for this bait a long time. It was released at ICAST 2022. And Eric promises me it'll be in all the retailers here soon if it's not already there right now. And I'm going to tell you at the end of the video where you can definitely get it. But these 28 MRs, which are the faster sinking version of this bait are going to be a gigantic hit this fall and even through the winter and stuff when I teach you how to use it the right way. All right, what's next? I know you're wondering. Stay tuned. This one's for you redfish fans, the kicker crab. Now, I like to have two different offerings. I like to have a lighter color and a darker color when I'm using these. Lots of times in low light, this is an excellent color. It really is. And this is a swimming bait, so you're covering water. It's just, you can work it slow and bounce it along the bottom, but when you have a crab hatch and you're targeting redfish that are wandering on the outside and they're starting to work their way to the mouths of those creeks, to the mouths of the rivers, and getting into those first bays where they're still bunched up, because August is a big schooling month for redfish, but in September, by the end of September, the second moon in September, they start to break up into groups. But this is still an amazing bait. And don't think it limits you just to catching redfish. We catch trout, snook, black drum, flounder. It catches everything. Now, I've got this one rigged on a pro bullet spate, but you can rig these on jig heads, chin locks, hooks, such as, such as this one here. There's a, there's a lot of ways to rig this bait. It's very, very effective in depths less than three feet. So bring two colors to the game and take advantage of this kicker crab. I'm telling you right now, if you've had any doubts about using crab patterns in the past, they'll be erased when you get a hold of this Z-Man kicker crabs. All right, the last, well, number five, if you will, of the group of baits I've been talking about is coming next. Okay, this is more or less a category. Uh, there are these big style jerk baits. This is the five inch variety of the scent jerk shads. Uh, this happens to be Green Lantern, which is a real popular color, but in some places, Mulletron might be better or Shiner, uh, or even um, the black and gold Gold Rush color. Fantastic baits this time of year. Still got a few higher king tides, so if you need to skip bushes or docks or something like that, this is your go-to for September, October, and early November. It's going to be a good bait. Gives you a lot of variety on retrieve speeds as well, because you can either dart this very quickly uh, to incite a strike from a snook, or you can work it real slow to keep it tighter to the bottom and get those redfish to chew. Now, this one's one of my personal favorites. This is the darters. Looks a lot like a ballyhoo, looks a lot like a needlefish. Um, it's a bait that you can swim, you can pull through the water, you can sight fish with it. When it's head weighted, like it is here on the pro bullets, I gotta tell you, this tail comes up at a weird angle and it just kind of swims in the current. It's a really good bait. It's been fantastic for a lot of big trout catches for me. It catches a lot of flounder when you work it tight to the bottom. 
and it is an amazing snook bait if you work it quickly. Uh, if you work this around dock lights, if you work this uh, around any of the points and rocky points, oyster bars and things like that, you will be surprised because believe it or not, snook, well, they love to eat needlefish. They not only taste good to them, I think, but I believe they look at them as competition for a lot of those little glass minnows that are in the water, a lot of those little rain minnows in the water. So they'll, they'll likely just take this out because of anger. So even when they're not biting, if you're darting this around, good chance you're going to catch one. All right, let's finish this up. Hopefully, uh, when I pass some of this information on to you all, you're taking it to the ramp, getting out there on the water, and catching fish with it. And if you are, like I said, give us the big thumbs up. And don't forget, subscribe. Tell all your fishing buddies that Flats Class is here to make them a better angler. If you're looking for any of the lures I talked about today, and, and you will be looking for them, and they're not at your local retailer, go to Sodium Fishing Gear. You can reach them at SodiumUSA.com. Get these baits employ them, and go catch some fish.